I would not have looked twice at this. Check it out. So paid $345, listed for $999.99, put store on sale for 15% off and took a best offer of $800. <laughs> Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. This is my group. If you're not in it, definitely go join. There's a link down below in my link tree. And I posted Share Your Best July Bolo, invited everybody to share which item they sold in July for big money. This one comes from Jody Toy Attic, and this is her YouTube channel. She is a big money bolo finder. Definitely check her out. She has awesome YouTube content also. I picked this 1977 Superstar Barbie up at an estate sale for $2. Barbie is so hot right now. I went through and ended and sold similar on all my Barbie stuff to refresh it in listings. Mm, that's kind of a good idea. The more original clothing and accessories that come... I'm sorry, that came with the Barbie, the better. She had most of her jewelry, original dress, shoes, and boa. She wasn't in perfect condition, though. It took about six months to sell her at this price, but it was worth the wait. $110, Superstar Barbie, 9720 Vintage, 1976-77 with dress, boa, shoes, and jewelry. There you have it. I bought it at the Habitat for Humanity Restore for $10, sold within 10 hours of listing. I accidentally listed it into a sale that I had going, so the price was $50 less than I intended to list it for, but I am happy with the profit and the quick sale. It's not perfect. The gold is almost completely worn off. Um, almost completely worn off. Bolo Buddies member, Edge City Traders, and this is what their eBay store and YouTube channel looks like. It is a Hernand coffee pot porcelain candlelight blue band pattern gold leaves trim. I probably said that wrong. That's why I gave you that look. This one also comes from Bowley Buddies member, the Kitschy Kansen. So I've been saying the Kitschy Kansen and my friend informed me that it is not Kansen, it's Kansen. <laughs> so there you go. Did I say it right? The Kitschy Kansen. <laughs> I told her I was going to do that and give her a hard time. All right. I won't call her out. I won't call her out. Found this gorgeous glowy biscuit jar at an antique mall for $20. Listed it for $150. Could not attribute it to a certain maker, but in two days after listing, I accepted a best offer of $125. It was an amazing piece that I hated to part with. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a vintage biscuit jar, UV reactive, metal lid and handle, hand painted, florals on milk glass. Check that out. So pretty. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, uh, eBay store, Cat Dad Mercantile. And what does it mean to be a Bolo Buddies member? That means they have joined Bolo Buddies memberships at level two or higher, and they get a mention with their eBay store or YouTube channel popped up and a link down in the description. It is not required to share a bolo, but if you would like that perk of being mentioned in the video, you can join, and there is a link below that tells more information about that. So, uh, Cat Dad Mercantile. He said, my mother-in-law gave me her old food processor after part of it broke. I parted it out and listed the pieces that were still good, and the chopper attachment sold in less than a week. Cost of goods, zero. Sold for 15 plus shipping, and buyer was all in for $24.66. It's a Cuisinart, qu qu I don't know how to say it, Cuisinart, I, I should know how to say this one. Uh, yeah, it's the steel chopper attachment. And uh, one person also that I know of that parts a lot of appliances out is Dad Planet. This is Dad Planet, and if you are not following him, definitely check him out. He is local to me, and we do um, collaboration videos where we go to the Goodwill Bins, and we meet up and we have challenges. So um, definitely look for those in the future. You can check out some of the past videos. We haven't done one in a long time, but um, they're always a lot of fun. And I also probably need to do another collaboration videos with my members because those are super fun also. Um, but anyway, stay tuned. Hopefully more of those in the future. Here is a bolo number two from Cat Dad Mercantile. Picked up a pair of like new original Ram tail lamps at a thrift store for $35. 
So my cost of goods was $17.50 each. The right side lamp sold for $56 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $75.33. Um, so it's a tail light. At first, I thought it was a siren that you put on the top of the cars, and you can't sell those. Just FYI, if you haven't watched my Vero videos where I talk about items that will get you in trouble, either suspended, policy violation, Vero's, items removed, definitely check out those videos. It's kind of like this, only um, so basically members of this group share, share, share things that happen to them. And then I create a video. So it's very educational with current things that are happening on eBay right now. So uh, definitely check those out. They're not as fun as the Bolo videos. Definitely not as fun, but very, very important. And as I said before, all of these members, uh, Cat Dad Mercantile is not a YouTuber, but he does have an eBay store. So check that out down below. Dad Planet, um, I'll link him down below also. Great YouTube channel. Check it out. Picked up this set of books at an estate sale for a dollar for the pair. It's History of the Beechcraft Aviation Company. There wasn't another complete set, so I listed really high. I ended up taking an offer for $75. Beechcraft, the History of Beach 2 volume set, signed press page by Olive Beach, C-O-B. And it looks like it's a two-volume set of books, and this is what it looks like. Same estate sale as the books had these belt buckles. After some negotiating, I got them for a dollar each. Ooh. They are the Rain for Rent Company, a nationwide liquid handling company headquartered near my town. Uh, buyer bought all these buckles for a total of $64.98. So it's three buckles that sold to one buyer, and that's what it looks like. Rain for Rent, huh? Promo belt buckles. Here is another one. I got a box of stuff for $10, including these books at an estate sale. I'm probably into them less than a dollar, and they sold for $62.30. Dungeons and Dragons TSR Endless Quest Adventure Book Collectors box set of two. And this is what it looks like. Anything Dungeons and Dragons, definitely look up. Oh, this is so cute. I got this felt pendant at a local antique mall for $15, and since it was the only one on eBay, I listed it as high as my hopes. Alas, it was not to be. And after several months, I took an offer of 78, which was still on the high end of comparable comps. It is a Star Wars Return of the Jedi 1985 Ewok Ice Capades Princess Kinesa Pennant. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member. I'm a resell it. And this is his YouTube channel. Definitely check him out. He will be linked down below. I found this Garmin chart plotter at a flea market in Vegas. It was new open box, paid 50, listed for 600 and got an offer for 450 after a month. 50 into 450. That is awesome. This one comes from Noni's Treasure House. Had this for probably two years. Just happened to look up comps on artists and her larger pieces sold for $1,500. Got this at the Salvation Army for $5. Sold for a best offer of $250. Maybe should have held out, but I'm happy. It is a Francine Turk signed charcoal drawing of woman's backside 2005 fall gallery. And it looks like she put this up for auction and took a best offer of 250. Would you have let the auction ride or would you have taken it? This one also comes from Noni's Treasures. Um, had this listed for a while. Again, Salvation Army, $4. Sealed Tony Bennett album. Saw him in concert. One of my favorites. Amazing. Sold quick for $29.99. He had just passed away. Someone said I should have gone in and raised the price. That didn't feel right. Happy with the sale. Tony Bennett album, uh, 1987 vinyl LP, Columbia, USA. And this is what it looks like. My last is this Pier 1 water pitcher called Bluebirds. It was retired, paid $2.99 and sold it for $59.99. And it is a hard to find Pier 1 Imports retired ceramic field notes bluebird pitcher earthware. Sold this white mountain jigsaw puzzle, Legends of the Nile King Tut, on auction for $152.50. Paid a dollar at a local sale. Wow. 
Uh, 2005 Legends of the Nile King Tut White Mountain Puzzle Complete 1,000 Pieces. Did you put that puzzle together? <laughs> I just want to know. Or did you count the pieces? Because I have heard if it says that a puzzle is so many pieces, it doesn't actually mean that it's always that many pieces. Is that true or is that a rumor? You puzzle people, let me know. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member American Woman Thrifter on YouTube and eBay. First time submission. Hopefully I did it correctly. I found a set of Cutco Homemaker Butcher Block with all knives complete set at an estate sale. Paid $345. Listed for $999.99. Put store on sale for 15% off and took a best offer of $800. So talk about paying up for something because you know that it's a big money bolo. Wow. Cutco Homemaker 8 Knife Set. This is a set of four Linux, I'm sorry, four Linux Christmas napkins with original tags. I got these for a dollar at an estate sale. After I listed them, I got a message from a fella saying I was way overpriced and he bought double the napkins for half the price that I was asking. So I told him how pleased he must have felt to have gotten such an incredible deal. <laughs> About 10 days later, he sent me an offer for 30. I had them listed for 40. I accepted and he paid shipping. Oh my goodness. That's so funny when people are like, they do it to me too. They're like, I can get this item over here for this price. I'm like, oh, you should definitely buy it from them. That's always my answer. Like if you can get it somewhere cheaper, you should definitely buy it from them. Like, why are you messaging me if you can get it cheaper? That makes no sense. All right. So anyway, she, she didn't give in. She said, okay. And then he came back with an offer and she took it. This one comes, oh, I'm sorry. That last one was from Bolo Buddies member She Picker, and this is her YouTube and eBay store. This one comes from Dolo Deals on Etsy and eBay. She says, these little carved wood geese are only four by four and a half. I bought these in June at a community flea market for a dollar. Just got around to listing them, and they sold within a week. I have a fifth, uh, little, little I have a 5% discount on my store. I guess it's working. People love birds. Thank you, Courtney. Vintage carved flying geese, birds, wall hanging, cabin decor, gray and black birds. And $34.99 is what they sold for. I bought this at an online YouTube auction from Donatella Bottolino. Paid way up for it for me at $60, but it sold in five months for $350. So this one comes from She Picker, and Donatella Bottolino has a YouTube channel. This is what it looks like, and Donna sells to resellers, but Donna is now mostly selling on whatnot. She did have a, a YouTube auction the other day, so I don't know if she's going to try to get in more YouTube. So definitely follow her on YouTube. But she is Donatella on um, Whatnot. So check her out there as well. She Picker is also coming to Whatnot. So make sure you follow her on Whatnot. And I am also on Whatnot. I'm Bolo Buddies. All one word, lowercase. So follow us all. If you're not on Whatnot already, there's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you use that link to join. You can spend that with me or anyone on Whatnot. Um, there's also a link if you want to join to sell. And if you use my referral link, I have heard that you are more likely to get accepted when you use a referral link and you get accepted quicker. So check those links out down below. It is a signed Hollis Fingold Trinket Box Radar Design Memphis. Hard to find. I would not have looked twice at this. Check it out. Wow. Huh. It's a trinket box. So she paid 60 and sold it for 350. Incredible. Found this goodie aluminum comb at the bins. It's so stinking lightweight, not sure it even registered on the scale. Sold for $12 plus shipping. Yes, goodie brand, vintage goodie. Definitely pick it up. The next one, I got this at a garage sale and paid $2 for it. I sold it on eBay in about a month for $299 asking price. It is a Green Town Holly Amber Glass Golden Agate Vase. Check it out. 
Nora's Nursery Diaper, co diaper Covers found this set of 10 packaged together at a local consignment shop for $3.50, sold within 20 minutes on Marketplace for $50. Okay, so I did see this original post and I was like, oh, sweet. I thought they were new um, because they look new, but I'm not sure if they're new or not. And somebody in the comments wrote that um, on eBay that you can't sell cloth diapers or diaper covers, I guess, like this. So don't list these on eBay. I don't know if these are new or not new. She sold them on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know what the rules are over there, but um definitely a bolo. I just don't know if you can sell it. So be careful with this one. Here's another one from She Picker, another Goodwill Bins find. It is so soft and the color is magnificent. Paid $2 and sold for $35. It's a Razzle Baby Blue Fuzzy Soft Snuggle Blanket. And this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, you guys. Wait until you see this. Coca-Cola space can display. This can was one of 12 or so that was on the space shuttle Challenger as part of an experiment involving carbonated drinks in space. What? Afterwards, one can was donated to the Smithsonian, Smithsonian, oh, I can't say this word, Smithsonian. It's like, I know what it is, but I can't say it. Smithsonian. Did I get it? Smithsonian. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm glad these are jeans. <laughs> and the others turned into these commemorative displays that were only given to Coca-Cola executives. Bought it at an estate sale for $250 and sold it on eBay for $1,800. Wow. Got it at Bargain Hunt last year. Do you guys have a Bargain Hunt near you? I have a Bargain Hunt near me. I don't look at this stuff. Maybe I should. Uh, $3.50 plus tax. Sold it for $55 plus shipping on eBay. New Luberderm Daily Moisture Lotion Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF. This is what it looks like. It's lotion, guys. It's lotion. Here's another one from She Picker. Picked up this super cool vintage magnetic toy at an estate sale for $2.50 and it sold for 20 plus shipping. Of course, I got to play with it for a little while. <laughs> it's magnets. And this is what it looks like. She did a little uh, picture with it. That's so funny. This Tupperware measuring cup with lid for 25 cents from an estate sale. It sold for $16.99 plus shipping. So this is a bread and butter that probably most of you walk past. Vintage Tupperware, four cups measuring mix and store, uh, complete with lid. And it looks like it's blue on one side and red on the other. So 25 cents into $16.99 plus shipping. That's a, that's a good profit. Let's do one more here. This is a military challenge coin that recently sold on eBay for full asking price. During COVID, people were just clearing out their garages and giving stuff away. My son saw a Facebook ad saying this and ha he had me drive him to the curb giveaway and a guy who had worked as a civil engineer for the Air Force gave him among other things, a box of over 150 Air Force and civil engineer challenge coins. Tried to offer him money for them, but he wouldn't take it. They sat in the death pile box under the bed for over a year until he took them out one day and started looking them up. And we almost fell out of our chair when we started seeing some of the comps. This was one of the higher priced ones that sold recently, but he's made thousands off of them from a zero dollar investment that sat under his bed for over a year. Don't sleep on challenge coins because my son literally did for over a year. <laughs> That's awesome. RAF USAF Joint Partnership Men with Hill Station Harrogate Harrogate I don't know 199.95 Wow How awesome is that All right you guys we are going to stop there um, more videos like this to come. I do this every month. If you guys are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, it looks like this. Definitely go join and look for the Share Your Best August Bolo post. 
Thank you to everybody that shared. Thank you to all my members. You guys are all amazing. Thank you for everybody that's watching. I appreciate you. If you think somebody would like this video, please share it out. That helps me uh, so much more than, you know, the shares, the comments on posts, when people ask about different YouTubers to watch. If you guys watch me and like my content, sharing that on Facebook is such a big help and I appreciate it all so much. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. Let me know how you found the channel. Are you new here? Have you been here a while? And uh, just drop me a comment. Thank you so much and thanks for watching.